Um, I just created a small lightweight brain fuck interpreter. And see, so I show it off a little bit. You can see it kind of works. Um, you know, this is the typical Hello World program. And you can see right here I have it working. It kind of, it does this. I mean, it does put car. Um, it also it runs a put car command. Um, I'm not fully sure how to get it to actually like do the proper things, but you know, it's there. We also have a small test program. So this. Let's do some things. Let's do. Um, let's do this. Let's do a couple. So it shouldn't come up by four. So we should see four. Oh shit! I forgot. So, <laughs> well, it will not put anything because that's not a ASCII character. But yeah, I mean, it's a small interpreter. It runs everything it needs to. I initialize its memory, 60,000. Opens, I mean, it's decently lightweight. Um, so you can see right here it is 14 kilobytes. This is after... This is after... It is after these two optimizations, which I can't remember they do a lot, but they do some stuff. Um, you can find the telling without that. Let's see how that works. Also, we got a bunch of warnings, but whatever. So, so fine. <laughs> fine, we'll do a little include. Get rid of that compiler message. There. We'll run it without it. Okay, yeah. Oops, sorry. Uh, o -dub -f. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like GCC clang. Uh, no optimizations. Hurt it. It's that was optimizing. Without, without that, um, see, it's ballooned to 54 kilobytes. I also put to 14 kilobytes. So, and the smallest interpreter I think was like 500 bytes or something. Written for the Amiga operating system. So even the fact that we're writing for like Linux, this isn't too bad. Die hard Linux enthusiasts will remind me that this is completely trash. This is a terrible, terrible size. It should be at least two kilobytes. No, it should be like two two bytes in total. Not my bad, but you know, I tried. <laughs> um, I don't understand what this does. I mean, I, I know what it does. I, I mean, I know what all these symbols mean. It's just, this is, main fuck is really hard to get your mind around. Kind of. So we just increment it, we repeat, we repeat multiple times, we repeat even more times. Shit. I didn't realize you could, I just realized, I mean, I should have realized, but like, you can do this to loops, that's so cool. I mean, it doesn't complete to a complete language. And people have written interpreters, brain fuck interpreters in brain fuck. Oof, wacky people, but they do it. I mean, yeah. I run in C and it's still it's like not interesting. <sighs> yeah. Memory allocation. This is actually tricking me and tripped me up over here. I was implicitly declaring it and I was trying to write to it. And I didn't realize that, you know. I didn't realize I had to allocate I didn't allocate any memory for for those variables. Shut up about the name, okay? I just I just I did it on the whim. But, you know. Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, it's on GitHub if you want to check it out. Electricorp slash brainfuck dash compiler, I think. I think it has a sensor in it. Hold on. Yeah, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it has a sensor in the actual GitHub. I'll put it in the description, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. See ya.